look who's back. He's Hi. A little, he's a little bit uh, sun toasty. I just the tops of my feet and like the back of my neck. I sent you with sunblock. <laughs> and I used it, but you know, the lake is hard on sunblock. It must have been rough floating around the lake for a few days. Uh, you know, I've had worse. In I've camping. had worse. It wasn't the same without you and the kids, though. The scouts are cool, but, you know. They're no Ray family. <laughs> well, we're glad that Zeb's back. If you're just tuning in, this is Saturday night's thrift slash... Um, yard sale. Slash yard sale haul. Slash every... end of a market that I snagged for free. <laughs> um, every Saturday night at 8.30 Utah time, we go live. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notifications button so that way you don't miss a haul. We also go live with Waste Not Wednesdays at 10.30 on Wednesday mornings. And we have tons... 10.30 a.m. I said Wednesday morning. I know. I, I had already started. I was interrupting you. Sorry. It's okay. You can interrupt me. Um, and we also do DIYs, farmhouse decor, hopefully soon fixing up an old house. You know, some people have voiced that they're uh, they're a little sad that we're going to become like a home chat, like repair slash fixer up channel. I'll paint stuff. We're going to need lots of furniture for this place. So. Right. It's going to be lots of DIY and design with a little bit of home fixer upper. But anyways. I'm going to go grab the iPad real fast because okay. we don't have comments. All right, good. Saturday night will always remain our thrift haul. we got some fun stuff. Lots of natural wood that I'm kind of excited about. And I may have purchased four chairs for the house that we don't technically own yet. So there's that. If for some reason the home loan doesn't go through, then maybe I'll have to part with them because I don't need them here. But the plan is, sorry, Zeb's gone, so I'm just going to keep yakking it up. The plan is the new house is going to be very white. Shocked, I know. But we're going to have like white floors too. So I want to bring in lots of natural wood tones and we're going to do um, accents of black with pops of color here and there. Um, so you're probably going to see me purchasing some fun natural wood tone stuff over the next few months. So I can incorporate that. And I love only natural wood tones that are like original patina. That's always the best. All right, Zeb, you got original. comments Original. I do have comments. Give me the comments and talk to them about what you bought. Okay, so we found a few things between us today. And lots of candlesticks. You know, we just painted a bunch of candlesticks on our membership live video, which, you know, some of them had been painted from previous thrift store haul videos, but they needed a second coat and they'd just been sitting in the garage for a month and a half waiting. So we got like eight candlesticks done. And then now we've got more candlesticks. It was the, the candlestick day today. These are natural wood. These were $4 a piece here. Yeah, we are in the dining that. room, new location. That's the idea. Although this light above me is kind of shadowy. So I don't know. Well, now I'm just in the dark. Now we, we need it. We need it. We need the light. It's, it's right. okay. Here, I'll bring it close. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we'll talk about white floors later. I saw somebody say white floors, not white carpet. No. So here, we're nice and close. These are the candlesticks. You can see the natural wood grain. They're not resin or anything like that. They're, they're turned candlesticks. I was thinking, I know that they already have like this kind of finish on them that makes the, it's like a stain that was rubbed off. It might be cool to strip these and get these down to natural wood. Cause look at the wood grain on that. Like get them Probably all the way down. Those. Just I'll put some, some of the liquid stripper on there. Could you just put it on the lathe? Use the... I probably could just put it on the lathe and just like. Oh, zip welcome, it down. Colleen Woody, a new channel member. We've got lots of new channel members. Everybody's loving your watercolor printable this month. Well, you you were like, here, you do this one. And I designed great. it and you made it. I couldn't have done what you did. You don't discount yourself. Yeah, I love those. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I don't know about sanding those. We may need them just natural like that and wash them up or like give them like a whitewash would be cool on those too. The new area makes us look um, younger. Well, I am younger. I went to the lake. I lost like five years. And I'm younger because I'm a week and a half after my first dose of Botox. <laughs> Just throw that out there. <laughs> Just put it out to the wind. So this- I like all the comments about it. They're good. So this was a candlestick that looks like it broke and someone flipped it over. Let me show you close. I was wondering what happened with that. So the top is missing, right? No top. Well, the top used to be down here, and look at all of that silicone down here. It's not coming off, 
what I might do is heat that up and peel that off because it's not a level job. It's, it's lopsided now. And flip it back right how it's supposed to be and get this thing back to that where it needs to be. That is a lot of work for a candlestick. How about well, we I'll probably just cut it in half on the bandsaw and use my... How about we just spray it white swan? It's not... It's crooked. It's crooked? It looks, yeah. It looks mostly straight. No, it's way crooked. It, <laughs> it, can't, it can't go out like that. So, okay, so here's the solution. I'm going to take the bandsaw, cut this in half. I got a new belt grinder that my brother made oh, for me. Well, there you go. If you need an excuse to use your new Yeah, tool. it'll take like 30 seconds to zip the silicone off of it with that belt grinder. And All then right. I'll just re-glue it right. You do you. I know. I will. Hi, Renee. All right, let's see. Um, so we had Trent, I can't say that, Wheelerstein. Started a booth and painted furniture following y'all styles. Already sold a bunch. Nice. That's awesome. Good job. That's a lot of fun. We love to hear that. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Rolling pins. I got, I got distracted by Trent's success. All right. So we we found some rolling pins. They were in there together today. Dollar fifty. Both of them. No, one of them is 75 cents. That oh. one. The better looking one is 75 cents. <laughs> the one with the cool off. handles is 75 cents. Who knew? Yeah. So it's funny because we were going down the, the aisle where they normally are and there were these two sweet ladies sitting there with their cart and I was like, um, I was worried somebody was going to grab them. I'm like, could you pass those to me? And they like grabbed them for me, put them over their cart, handed them to me. They were really sweet. But we're happy and about these. We're excited about those ones because it's been a minute since we found like all wood. Usually, I mean, the last couple we've got, they had like plastic handles yeah. or they were metal on the base. Well, and then I jokingly said that I was just like, well, you're going to bake with these. I said, I'm going to beat my husband with them. Just like joking. It's not laughing matter. And she's like, you're going to wind up in jail. I'm like, oh my goodness. I was standing right there the whole time. I'm like, I should probably never say things like that. I should think before I say things. People that know me know that, you know, even if I tried, I couldn't even hurt you, so it was a point. And secondly, I love you too much. Yeah. All right. There's lots of love. There's so much love. So this, I paid a little bit more for this. This one was $5, but it is solid metal. I would wager it weighs about eight to nine pounds. And it's metal? I didn't even know Yeah, that. it's been cast. Check out that detail on that. Mm. So I thought this was pretty awesome. It kind of is like a woodish tone, but we'll switch that up. We'll paint it something fun. All right, so uh, Sabrina says, how are y'all liking your Invisalign braces? How am I liking them? That's Jamie tall. can't take it. She can't stand <laughs> them. She's ready to throw them out the window. If I hadn't already paid a ginormous down payment, I'd be like, bye, Felicia, to these Invisaligns. Like, I know that I need them because of my overbite, but they are annoying. I like mine. I, they <laughs> and, they and work I can't out well. Snack. Yeah, you it's it makes it hard to snack because you have to brush every time you take them out and eat food. Otherwise, like it's not good. You get you might end up with like a bunch of cavities by the yeah, end of your. Yeah, I lay in thing. bed at night thinking, man, I'd really like a snack, and I'm like, nope, not rebrushing these teeth. Water it is. <laughs> Somebody asked said that we looked good. What's my secret? Part of my secret has been I got Invisalign. Uh, it's been what like a week and a half ago. And then the other thing is I started working out five times a week and not, trying not to eat too much sugar. So it's probably that. <laughs> so these spindles. Well, that were, has a It has nail. a nail. Don't worry. I won't, yeah. I won't stab you in the face. I promise. I promise. These spindles were free. We have every third Saturday. Is it every third Saturday? What? Or oh, every um, second no, Saturday? I don't know which Saturday. It's like once a month. But once not in July month. because nobody's here in July. Once a month, we have a market during the summer at Molly's Forget Me Not, where we have our uh, our shop space at that we rent from her. And there's outdoor vendors, and they we, we pack it all in, and there's a bunch of stuff going on, and it's fun. And we were picking up tonight, and I was like, one of the vendors, I was like, hey, how much do you want for those? Like, I, And she's like, oh, you can just take them for free. I was taking them to the Deseret Industries right afterwards, which is our thrift store, store up here. She's like, I was just gonna get rid of them. I'm like, no, I gotta pay you something. And she insisted, she would not let me pay her. So I'm, I've got six of them, I'm thinking. They're from Leah. Oh, from Leah, yes. Yeah. And she makes pumpkins in the fall, they're really cute. She usually brings them to our September market and she's got a really fun style. If you guys actually wanna see what the outdoor markets are like, if you go to Jamie Ray Vintage on Facebook, I actually threw up a live video at the market today showing off this shot, but also showing all the vendors outside so you can see Leah's space. Oh, thanks, Wendy. 
So I'm gonna make console tables out of four of them, I think, and I might chop the others down and make some candlesticks, because I think from like this square here to up here would be a pretty cool candlestick there. And then I could even have like a little extra, maybe do a shorty one or something. But I don't know, I might I'm leave them long, because I, I have two, one, two of them that are gonna be odd, so I don't know. But these were free. I would have paid, I was gonna pay her like two- 20, 20 bucks. Probably yeah, yeah, probably right around 20 bucks. I mean, I, I offered her a little bit of money for him. I was a little cheaper than that. I offered her two dollars a piece. <laughs> Katie Scott says, get that nail away from Jamie's face. She's too expensive to scratch up. I know, I've got some, I got some money invested in her now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, six of those, I was excited about that because they'll make a great little console table. It'll be fun and look really cool. Yeah, those are really cool. Well, it's kind of fun. We have some really great vendors. I actually, we have a vendor that um, takes old silverware and makes um, furniture, um, jewelry out of them. And my sister, Deborah, I don't know if she's on tonight, gave me a bunch of silverware and for me to sell, but I just wound up giving it to her. And then I told her she couldn't pay me. So then she gave me like a little keychain and that I gave to Eliza. So like, I feel like there's rotating stuff going around with our vendors. All right, so I'm gonna put this sideways so you can see it. Maybe you can see it here. Yeah, it's really big. This is this is like a three feet tall almost. Yeah, it has a price on it for hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know what kind of bougie store people shop at where there's a candlestick that costs one hundred and fifty dollars, but it obviously is not me. We here's paid the, four dollars. Here's the thing. Check that bad boy out right there in the center. See this? Yeah. Cracked all the way around and it's a little wobbly. So I was happy to pay $4 at the thrift store for this bad boy and we'll paint it up. I'll fix this. I'm going to get some good construction adhesive or something in there. Maybe a little Bondo. Well, I'll probably pull it apart. I don't know what's kind of holding it together because you can see it's got like a little wiggle on the top there. I'll figure out how to get that apart, work it apart and then re-glue it and it'll be real nice and strong. Somebody asked if I had Juvederm in my cheeks. These are just my cheeks. No. I do have filler under my eyes, but these these cheeks, these chubby cheeks, they're all mine. Eventually, they're all gonna fall down here, and then there'll be something else going on. That'll probably cost me too. <laughs> so we were at the grocery store, and Deb saw this old guy with this like younger-looking wife that you could tell was like older, but took very good care of herself. He's like, there's lots of twenty years. <laughs> I was just stuck in my mind, you know, I, it's, it's probably going to be the truth. Dina gave me money to the next book. <laughs> Thanks, Dina. <laughs> Support the habit. And then, an enabler. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know that I'll do it again. I think it was a lot of money for what I got. We're getting sidetracked. Sidetracked. Back to the junk. Back to the junk. So we got these pegs. They're amazing for shelves. These were at a yard sale just across from the DI, across the street from our thrift store that we go to. And there's a bag of like a hundred of them. Two dollars for the whole bag. So we're gonna be making some shelves. Some of them are little. So like you could do little shelves for keys or whatever. Oh yeah, we've got little tiny How ones there How many do you think the there are in there? I would say there's at least 50 of the big ones and probably 50 of the smaller ones. So, for two dollars? Yeah. That's like, Zeb almost was like gonna pass them up. I'm like, no, no, no. Cause we always find like shelves, well, but we they don't have always have pegs. So we didn't have cash. We we only had card. And she's like, "Hey, will you take PayPal?" And the no, guy's I said, like, "Do you take cards?" He said, "No." I said, "What about PayPal or Venmo?" And he's like, "I think I have PayPal. I I only use it to pay people." I'm like, "Dude, hook it up." So I PayPal them ten bucks and bought that and a few other things. We'll show you. Show you. We got a couple other things from yeah, there that we'll show there. you. Um, this was also from the thrift store. Dollar fifty, little hen. Let me see if I can get the tape off of her. Oh, oh. They tape them together um, at the Bill thrift store. Bill uses his iPad and a very expensive digital pen to do watercolor. Yeah, this pen here. It was a hundred dollars. The iPad cost two hundred and fifty, and the pen cost a hundred. And I do them in um, the program I use is Adobe Sketch, which is part of my Adobe Creative Cloud package that I pay for. My hair looks fantastic. You know what I did? I put it in a ponytail, and then I pulled it out and I brushed it. So I got this little dollar fifty <laughs> hen apart. What about Zeb's hair? Yeah, what about my hair? Come on, guys. Look, I got I got a little Zeb bit of sun. 
You got a little bit of sun. I had like some beard face going on. Total my, beard. My sister-in-law, Mariah, she's like, that's just camping scruff. Cause my brother Ty keeps a pretty good beard most of the time. So she's like, you can't call that a beard. <laughs> it was like 10 days of growth. It but was it's gone, gone as soon as you got home. It's gone. It was getting hot and itchy, and I wasn't going to grow it out because I wear a respirator a and lot. And I don't like to kiss you when you Besides you're that. And, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a respirator a lot when I'm spraying paint and sealers, so you can't have, like, beard leaks getting in the air. All right, dollar fifty hen. We'll paint her up. Maybe just clean her up. She's kind of a cool vintage -y green. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to paint that. I love it. It's okay. almost like a Jedi green. Only it's not old. It's newer. Yeah. All right. $3 mirror offering. <laughs> it's originally from Target. It's got the home Target, Target home. home on the back. Made in uh, China. Made in China, but we're going to Jamie Ray it and uh, gonna... give it a fun new paint job. Probably a lighter color. Bring the black through. Let's be honest. It's probably getting painted some shade of blue or white. And then we're going to wet distress. Maybe hot pink. You don't know. You don't know my life. You know what? We've got some milk paint ready to go. It's not hot pink milk paint. No, it's first <laughs> crushed milk paint. We are painting pink today because we bought something that should always be painted pink. We're going to show you guys a little bit. All right. So I have... If we're not done, you're going to do that while we're... I'm going to show them in just a sec. Okay. We have a little project also besides That's painting. That's nail polish remover. <laughs> yep. I, got, I buy it in the bulk at Costco, the OPI should lacquer I tell, remover. Should I tell them about when we were dating? Sure, I'm sure. When we were dating, Zeb used to, well, Zeb worked at Discount Tire and wore black socks. So he always had like black lint underneath his toenails and he thought it was gross. So he used to let me paint his toenails in the summer and he would rock hot pink and red toenails all summer long, flip flops and all. I mostly went for red. I don't ever remember going pink. Mm. Yeah, it might've just been red. Yep. So yeah, he doesn't let me paint his toenails anymore. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't have the same lint issues anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be your toenail. You bottom. know, you do a lot of strange things when you're dating a girl that you wouldn't normally do once you get the girl. Oh. Just saying. Well, now I'm going to wait till you're sleeping. I'm going to paint them. All right. All right. So how much was the toolbox? Did we talk about toolbox it? Toolbox was $3. This was a yard sale find and not originally blue, originally this gray color, but we will clean probably it clean it up and leave it. Yeah. Yep. We'll People take it outside and do the uh, old barkeep scrubber what, what, what's barkeep's friend barkeep's friend and, we use that to scrub a lot of old and metal. the dawn dish soap like i did with the other toolbox that we used for our stamps last week and clean that up real nice and good and just oh we got leave a new it. member pat floyd oh awesome welcome pat okay we're gonna pan the camera over this way we got four chairs did jamie tell you she overpaid I did not overpay. I said, oh, that's too much. And I walked out and I told Zeb, I'm, I'm just sick. I have to have those chairs. It's a set of four. They're super sturdy. They're way old. The construction is probably early 1900s with a fix somewhere in the 40s um, with the wire. This is indicative of like a 1940-ish fix repair job. So these were $80 for a set of or four. four. So they're Here. $20 a chair. Let me bring but your the way patina, back. They're, like the finish the, is all crackled. And they have almost like a honeycomb. Is that what you would call that? A honeycomb? A honey dipper. Spindle? Yeah, Honey sure. dipper? Yeah. The spindles are beautiful. The chairs are amazing. So back in the day when a chair got loose, they didn't throw screws in it. What they do is they drill a hole right in here and they'd run these wires through and then you just twist the wire with a stick until it gets back tight. And every chair has this wire system on it and even though it's not necessarily original to the chair, we are going to leave this because it, it's amazing. It represents kind of like an old school ingenious way to sturdy up a chair. And I mean, even look right here, this is where they, they drilled through underneath and then they just wrapped it around to the back. Whoa. Whoa. Bannister leg down. <laughs> the one, they wrapped the one it around the to the back and tighten that up and it tightens your chair so well these chairs are really sturdy yeah did you show them the detail along the top it's yeah. like almost like an embossed carved wood on the top and the they're spindles, old enough the spindles it may have been carved me. the spindles got me like i just i couldn't like i had to have them so i didn't overpay i just i would have preferred to pay like ten dollars a chair and pay 20. i bought four because gotta have all of them 
these may be something that we keep for ourselves yeah. for the new place. Yeah, because like I said, so I let me tell you a little bit. Somebody said white floors. We're planning on putting wood flooring of some kind or leaving the existing wood flooring, and then all the floors are going to be painted white. I know, weird, but it'll be good, I promise. It'll look cool, and it's not going to be like, so we've been on wood floors that have been painted with latex, and they get gummy and dirty and event after like a couple months they have like this grayish black and you can't mop it off and we're not going that route we will probably paint them with like a either diy paint or we could use like an enamel yeah but we're going to seal them with a traditional wood sealer over the top of that so you won't you're even like just showing them my face why don't you look at the camera when you're talking because i'm showing them this rocking chair <laughs> Like, I'm just sitting over here being awkward. We went to fly so we could see this rocking chair. Check it out. This was another yard sale find, $5. This needs a good scrub before you paint it with first, first crush. It's got some kid crusties on it. Tell them that I'm actually gonna have to clean it. Okay, so uh, Queen Bee trending spilled muriatic acid. What do you use to neutralize baking it? Baking powder. Baking, baking soda. Or baking soda, Baking yeah. soda. Baking she soda. said it almost uh, a full, got a hole through her floorboard, yes. So baking soda, get get some baking soda and get it on there as quickly as possible. We know that because we used muriatic acid and it reacted to something on our cement and the smell almost knocked us out and we used baking soda and it neutralized it. Yeah, you know, if it, if it reacts with something, it puts off like these fumes, it's bad. Yeah. All right, so a couple more things. We're almost done here and then we're gonna start projects. So I don't even know what you'd call this design. Someone's smarter than me. Hobnail. I don't no, know. Hobnail. No, it's not. It's not the hobnail. I don't think. Hey, where are you going? I gotta clean that high chair. You do have to clean the high chair. It's it's got some oh. Chris Mudgeons. You told me I'm an obedient wife. Oh come on now. <laughs> so it's got this really fun design. It's not quite milk glass. It's just white glass. It's leaning towards wanting to be milky, but it's I don't know. It's hard to say. But fun little vase, we got that for $2, probably sell it for seven or eight at the shop. And then this is actual milk jug. There's Winter Farms up here in Utah and they deliver like fresh farm goods, like stuff that's baked that morning and they're, they're fresh dairy stuff and fresh squeezed juice and eggs and things like that. And they will deliver it to your door and it comes in this kind of stuff. I'm gonna see if the nail polish remover will take off the Winter Farms logo and things, and then we'll have a really cool jug. And I'm gonna pull this plastic thing off. I'll cut that off too. And I'm in a hurry, so I'm just using bathroom cleaners. This is not my preferred method, but. Jamie's cleaning over here. I'm probably cleaning the iPad too. Don't clean the iPad. Well, you might ought to move that. You're cleaning the kitchen table with bathroom cleaner for sure. You know what, we also need the drill. I gotta get these metal the jiggers off. Okay, I'll take those rail slides off. Metal majiggers rail slides, it's the same. It's not a word. Oh, did we show them this giant portrait? Oh, we didn't. We forgot the giant portrait. How could you forget it? I don't, think, I don't think you can actually like bring that even and, see it in the whole and get it in the camera shot. I'll try. I'll try. You, just do like, a, just walk across the camera with it. I'm hold on, just, guys. We're coming. I'm just going to hold it up over here. Okay. Oh, there you go. You're in camera. It's ginormous. Move these candlesticks so they can see it good. So they can see it in all its glory. Yep. So it's got some plaster missing over here on this end. You can kind of see those white sections. We don't know if we're going to mess with that. We might try to like refill it in with some Bondo or remold it because this side's still in good shape. But at the end of the day, it might not be worth it to take that much time to fix it. It might be better to just paint it. Someone will love it the way it is painted. It'll be great and old and chippy looking, but it was 10 bucks. I don't think the print is gonna make it. It's actually got a big hole that someone taped up from behind right here. So I don't think that this print, even though I think it's an actual painting, it's not a print. Yeah, it's got texture and things. It's, if it is a print, it's done really, really well, but I think it's an actual painting. But it's got this hole here, so we can't really sell it. <laughs> like okay. that well i'm not really that's not really my style of painting anyways so i'm thinking we'll just make it like a big old chalkboard or we'll make a big sign or i'll paint put plywood in it and do like a, an iod transfer situation maybe i might hold on to it till 
they come out with some new ones. I know they gotta be coming out with some new ones soon. Oh, you're off over off camera. Oh, sorry, I'm just cleaning. Jamie's cleaning. I'm gonna work on this acetone deal and see if it works. Try that out. Oh, I need you to get a screwdriver. Oh, I'll get the screwdriver real quick. Sorry, guys. I was off camera scrubbing this down. I would normally use a different method to clean this. I've actually been known to just put it, spray it down and then spray it off in the shower. My house gets used a lot as a workshop. But this, some baby used for a hot minute. It's pretty grody. That's the thing about yard sales. The thrift stores usually will, people will clean stuff up a little bit at least. No, if it's as bad as this, they'll wipe it down a little or just throw it away. That's I've seen, I've seen that happen. I used that drill while you were gone. I was about to say, someone's touched all my tools in the garage. They're all well, in different spots. Well, you left and I had to figure out my life. Oh, <laughs> oh gross. Is it Look disgusting? Look at that. That's nasty. Oh! That's like caked on food. Oh. You don't want this. Is it doesn't this. smell great either. Oh, this is too gross for live TV. Oh. Oh, now it's on my table. Good thing oh. they make bleach. Oh, Good thing there's bleach. Well, there you go. It's an old farm table. If somebody, if somebody ever comes over for like dinner, oh, they're not going to want to eat on the side of the table. It's an old farm table. Come on now. It was made from wood from the hills. It was made from wood from your cousin's yard. Yeah, in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, nobody's on camera now. We're just like, oh. That's the thing about live television. It's unscripted. You know, it's like something blew up and we ran off stage to get away from it. So bad. Uh, I'm going to work with my acetone so I can burn my nose hairs off and not smell that anymore. <laughs> All right, I'll just be over here cleaning. So I don't know if this will work. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to look at comments while I'm doing this too. All right. Oh no, Tara Gomez keeping you company at urgent care while you get your finger glued up. What'd you do to your finger? Alright, that needs Clorox bleach cleaner. Okay. This chair's. Yeah, get some. Don't. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna get everything. Spray it into the rag and then wipe it down. You're gonna get bleach on stuff. Alright. I get bleach. This is my work shirt. Alright, so it took off the expiration date, it just zipped that right off. Might have to soak this a oh, little bit. Usually, you can get the expiration date off with a magic eraser. Ooh, too much. Man, Ugh. we're a mess tonight. Last few, the last few live videos have been interesting. I don't know if this is gonna take this other stuff off. Well, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna go try something else. What? While you paint that pink, I'm gonna go grab a little bit different chemical. Well, remember we're in the house. While you're grabbing I might wait for later and we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna use paint stripper on this to see, cause I can feel it with my fingernail. It's just something that's sprayed onto the end of there. Yeah, try a magic eraser. You think, just, you think a magic eraser has that, enough yeah. to get that up? Cause a magic eraser is like really fine sandpaper. Sorry, you guys. I didn't expect this would be so gross. <laughs> at least it's bleached now. Yeah, at least there's that. There's nothing wrong with the hills. The hills are amazing and sometimes alive with the sound of music. <laughs> the hills are expensive. Your cousin's house is like a million dollar house. We live down in the valley. Oh, Tara got her finger cutting lettuce. Oh no, that sounds like something I would do. All right, this is not working. Not no. working. All right, I'm going to just get a cotton ball full of my other stuff. Here, worst case scenario, you could just paint it. Yeah, I'll be right back. Keep cleaning. I'm not painting, I'm cleaning. I'm can you get me something to... Um, I'm going to show them the first crush real quick so they can get excited about it. They can get excited about it. So that, this is milk paint. And sweet pickings. We sell it at jamierayvintage.com. Gets real nice and chippy when you paint it. Doesn't have any extra bond in this mix. And as gross as this chair is, I don't know if anything's. And this, the high chair will soon become this color. Soon. 
It's going to happen. We're going to get it done. I'm using a magic eraser now. There was like a gallon of food stuck underneath those rails. I think, here, try this out, sweetie. You think that that's big enough? Yeah. All right. Uh, so I think all high chairs are super cute painted like a chippy pink. And anytime I do one and I paint it chippy pink, it always sells really, really fast. So there's a little tip for you. If you find wooden high chairs, paint them milk paint pink and they'll sell. I'm just using a magic eraser to get some of the stuff off of here because damn, this thing is gross. All right. There goes nothing. I can't read comments. Let me see what guy. Razor blade. Yes, razor blade is, we use that a lot. We're going to be watching you two die of toxic fumes of this rate. Blame my husband. Oh, I need a paintbrush. I can't paint. Okay, it looks like strawberry milkshake. It does. All right, let's see. Zeb, her finger looks pretty gnarly. Oh, no. Ashley must have been there with her. All right, Zeb, can you grab me a paintbrush? Yeah, I had some out. Does that stink? No, not really. It's mineral spirits. Oh, it's mineral spirits. Okay. Please don't get it on my table. I like I my had table. paintbrushes out. Where'd they go? We got another new member, Frida Schnell. Oh, hey, Frida. Frida, do you really want to hang out with us more? Yeah, who knows me? <laughs> well, while we're messing stuff up. If, if oh, nothing else, else, you can laugh I at us. I thought there was something stuck down here. That's the screw, so that's okay. If nothing else, you can laugh at us because, you know, we're we're good for that. We don't mind. You can make up a lot of milk paint. I made up a bit. I mean, you mix up more if you need, right? That's oh, true. not the right one. So this is Mineral Spirits Substitute by Crown. It's for cleaning up paint, excellent brush cleaner if you're using like the latex kind of paint. We prefer just water usually. Latex just usually soap and water, you mean like oil based like enamel? Yeah, some oil based stuff. Do they make latex oil based? I don't know, it's been so long. No, that is, man, this stuff is stuck on. We may have just bought ourselves like a dollar bottle for nothing. It was two dollars, I told you it wasn't gonna come off. How was my wedding? Um, I, it was great. I actually didn't wind up going to the reception because we had a ton of stuff we had to do and everybody got home right about the time I was gonna go back and go to the reception and I hadn't seen my kids or my husband in days so we bowed out. So I'm gonna take it to her. I'll see her next week and I'll give her the bar stool. I'll actually show you guys the finished project here in a minute. Right. So I'm not gonna be using any extra bond. I didn't sand this, I'm just gonna paint it and I'll share what it looks like in community because obviously it won't get finished, but I'm hoping we get lots it of It took too long to clean. <laughs> yeah, well, milk paint takes a little bit longer to dry anyways. I'm hoping we get lots of good crackled, chippy yumminess. Are you gonna go, you wanna go grab that bar stool so you can show them what it looks like? Yeah, I can grab the Caitlin bar stool. and I went live yesterday, if you haven't catched that video or caught that video is the correct term. Um, and I painted a bar stool for my friend. She's kind of, kind of bohemian, kind of hippie, so. Anyways, all right, Zeb, where are you going? I gotta get some. Careful mixing chemicals. I know, right? Lori says sand it. What do you do? What do you use to seal milk paint when it's super chippy? I just use clear wax. So I don't use a liquid top coat. I've got the one more liquid top coat cotton will bottle. reactivate it. I've got one more cotton swab. And one more chemical to try. No more chemicals. If you're going to try a chemical, you're going to do it outside. Careful mixing them. We're going to get so many naughty comments about this. I'm going to oh, open this. I've got a cotton ball full of. I'm opening the back with the sign. I haven't glass even sprayed door. anything in here. Okay. All right, so this is Goof Off Graffiti Remover. Oh. I got that for the back door. Also not working. Awesome. Oh. There you go. I was being safe. I went and got gloves. Do you use the liquid wax? No, I use just like the regular clear wax. That I usually use DIY wax. Um, after stenciling a mirror, how do you seal it? I don't. I just leave it. So you can't wash it with water. Like, I guess it sounds weird. You can't wash it with water. Eventually, it'll it'll cure up. But you only want to dry dust it, or you could use like a, an acrylic or something. 
or mix some sealer in with your paint. So if you're using like DIY paint, you could mix like a little bit of big top in it and that would help it be not washable. So I've been scrubbing over here with the graffiti remover, which also did not work. Now I'm trying a razor blade, you know, I'm determined. How much do you sell a high chair for? I don't know, I haven't sold one for a while. They're hard to find, when's the last time? No, nope, nothing doing, that's not coming off. They want their logo there, Zeb. Yeah, they do. It's like etched into the glass. No, we don't have any turpentine. No, no turpentine. No, nope, I'm just gonna paint it. We'll just paint the bottle. It'll be cool when it's painted. So I think that I'd probably sell this, depending on how cool it turns out, probably about 40 bucks, 39.95. It really depends. Sometimes I don't know until I'm done with something and it depends on like how much I actually love it. Pam, I tried the razor blade, it didn't work. What time is it though? Rubbing alcohol might be my next try, but I don't know. Some of that's in the closet somewhere. I don't, I'm not quite sure where that's located at the moment, so I can't go run grab it fast. Well, I guess you're out of luck. Lori Williams sand it logos off of wine bottle. That might work. Wallpaper just... adhesive remover, heat gun. Man, you guys are getting creative. I could try all those. Or just paint it. Jamie's Jamie's over it and wants to just paint it, but I might try some of these other solutions before I let her and let you guys know how it worked out. Before you let me. Oh, Linda Sadler, thank you. Ten dollars. Appreciate it. All right, I'm getting under here. I, I'm like totally not motivated to paint right now. My paint skills are like, I'm kind of flopping this on here. I probably could get this whole thing painted if I tried. All right, Double, you gotta do something for the people since that didn't work. I know, I'm gonna paint this mirror pink right now while you're painting that pink. You're gonna paint that mirror pink? Yeah, why not? It'll go good in the That's, little girl's room. It's weird. Okay. Is that weird to paint this pink? Why okay. is that weird? Explain that I, to it's, me. It's like, is it weird, of, guys? It doesn't look like a little, I, what, you know, it's not Is like, it too grown up for a little girl? It's weird because everybody loves you. And so do I. So it's not it. true. They voted me off the island while I was gone. Only one person commented on the video yesterday and said, you should, you don't even need Zeb, you should do videos without him and it hurt Zeb's feelings. I wasn't hurt. It's funny because <laughs> it's happened to me many times when Zeb's done videos without me, they're like, you should do more videos without Jamie. So now it's not just me. We got the window open, don't worry. It's not, it's not that strong. Uh, no, it's not. And we do, I have the window and the sliding glass door is like right here and I have the door wide open. Luckily we don't have a lot of bugs yet. It's not buggy. Katie Scott says it's too mature for pink. All right, then what color, guys? I gotta paint something. What color do you wanna see this go? I've got, I probably have like apothecary, boho blue. Um, what else is in there that's open? I'm gonna go look and then I'll bring you some options. I don't know, George. So it looks like he's gonna take you at least two, maybe three coats on that. Oh no, just two. The first one always looks bad. And re honestly, on things like this, the worse the paint job, the better. Like chippy and drippy, it does not need to be perfect. If you want to look at fresh. Fire and fresh is fine. We don't have, you don't really paint true Bohemian Blue very much. Well, that's You always mix it so everything is mixed in there. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably not the original Bohemian Blue, and I don't have Bohemian Blue in my space. It's not really in my color scheme. While I love the color and I think it's beautiful, it just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't match my jam. Although today I sold the, the blue clock, I don't know if you guys remember, we painted a clock like in Hey Sailor, I don't know, six months ago. And I got tired of looking at it, so I stuck it in the back. And today we had to pull out a bunch of inventory because we had some vendors cancel last minute. And so we had to like fill space on the back patio and it sold. Here, I'm putting that right there. I sold somewhere. about $150 worth of stuff that we hadn't had out previously. So I can't be sad about that. Yeah, it was pure acetone on that for it's the- It's paused. Is it paused? Why? I don't know. Uh-oh, let me see if I can fix it. Frozen, frozen. Hmm, it's not doing anything. Oh, 
audio fine video for